What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Flame078 and this is Perspective Gaming here with another Apex Legends video. Today's video is going to be very interesting. Uh, the dev stream came out. We're talking, kind of recapping what we discussed last week with EA Play Live. Please make sure to check out link down below and in the card right up there if you guys want to check that out. But today we actually got a little bit more insight of some of the things that are going on specifically with the legend. So that's what we're going to break down today. So hope you guys enjoy it like leave a comment down below to see what your expectations for the changes they're coming live tomorrow with the lost treasures collecting event but without further ado let's just jump right into it all right so i had to do a little switcheroo right here who got the patch notes here at reddit.com and you know you can check them out on their blog or whatever but the thing that we want to talk about is just, you know, we've kind of covered a little bit of this. Um, updates to the crypto uh, takeover real quick. Something I'm really excited for that we really didn't discuss. Um, the map room actually is a beacon that when pinged, you actually get to know everyone's location um, for and the next ring for a few seconds. So that's actually a pretty very you know, a, a must go to spot, I think, for positioning and overall, just in general, figuring out where everyone landed right away. Um, it's gonna be very interesting to see how that's gonna play out. I'm really excited um, that they're actually doing that. I wasn't even really much aware. I didn't get that from that initial video. So that's actually really cool that it does that. Well, let's talk about these updates real quick. All right, starting, we'll break down each legend and stuff that, because I was actually working on a tier list um, and then this actually might influence that list that I might be on. So make sure to hit the subscribe button to check that out. So light lines first, um, well, rework, right? Um, passive, instead of getting fast heal, we're removing fast heal now. Um, but we're going to get combat revive, which allows Doc to revive your teammate. And then you're still doing your own thing. Um, and yeah, pretty much what we saw in the trailer, that's super cool. I think that's a very, very interesting and actually worthwhile kind of change. Also, one thing to note too, the devs did clarify that you can also pick up your other teammate as well. So I think how it works is the first person you um, revive gets your dock, gets the shield, and then if your other teammate's down somewhere else, you do a normal res to them to get them back up. So that and actually is really powerful really makes her a combat medic because now she can get up her team at the same time and being you know that much more of an influence in firefights and stuff like that so that is really cool um the changes to her tactical are really cool um i'll use a drone more obviously with the changes her care package i'll see how it goes um i'm hoping her care package to me always seems hit and miss i've always felt that her ultimate should always be something else but we're gonna have to dig it uh, how it how it goes, you know. But overall, this change right here, I think is gonna be the best change that I find. It's gonna happen. I'm really excited to check her out. Um, Octane is next. Octane got a, a little bit of rework. His tactical upon activation stem will remove any movement impairing effects, which is something actually Reddit and a lot of uh, my other friends have talked about as well. That he really should be a true speed demon, and nothing should slow him down. So make him kind of like useful in a sense to bear up kind of push into a caustic room or a watson room and sure he's still going to take that damage but he's gonna he's still gonna have his speed and be able to get get through and, and, and catch people off, off guard like that so i think that is really really powerful and also with his speed he gets a 10 percent boost so i think that's gonna be good overall i like that i think that's one thing i've been wanting from him for a bit just to make him more useful in engagements and especially in the higher tiers i don't think it's gonna make him meta by any means but it's a good change his ultimate now allows someone to do a double jump in mid air after you use it i guess this is all to combat how easy it is to shoot down anyone who uses the jump pad he's literally just like arc and then you just like catch shot right off the sky so um the ability to change direction and to double jump is very key and to kind of allow people to get that mobility aspect out of the jump pad where, all right, I want to reposition here, but also want to, don't want to be an easy target um, to the enemy team. So I think that's going to be really cool. I'm excited for that. Um, 
Moving on to Revenant Tactical, we'll now cancel Pathfinder Mid Grapple, which is really neat, with mid phase walk attempt before the phase walk activates. So you're not they're not gonna get a wraith out of the of the void if she's already in it, but like since we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit later, they did do a little extension to her animation into getting the, the phase walk. So if she gets hit while doing that, she won't go into it. And then now really good counter mirage preventing him from cloak revive mirage decoy um, control activation and lifeline combat revive so lifeline all those even the new buffs and stuff like that their those abilities are now not going to happen if you get silence by random making Revenant that much more lethal with his sound ability which i think is cool and the biggest thing to Revenant range removed on the death totem wow 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 one of the things oh Thank God they did this. It was always really annoying that I always felt that that his ultimate had a timed and arranged. It should be one or the other. Like, so I'm really glad they decided with the time. We'll see how it goes. But overall, the no um, range just allows you to be smart. So if you pair a Revenant with a Pathfinder to really, you know, start from a safe position and then push into a team from far away that's also going to be really good like that's what the plays are all about which is something you couldn't really do before you really had to be really close to the action to kind of use his ultimate so i think that's a really interesting change i'm going to see how that goes um i can also see kind of arguments being i should have been you know um you know keep the range no distance um i mean no time limit sorry but we'll see uh, I'm, I'm very curious to see how this plays out but overall i think this is another good change that allows revenue to be a little bit more viable in in the public meta uh crypto that's his tactical deploying hack uh, crypto's drone now takes 1.5 seconds so it just made that a little bit speedier his emp will now disable watson pylons which is cool so if watson is like hunkered down um it's now on top of her fences her pylons are now gone so loba her tactical burglar's best friend will no longer be intercepted by watson's pylon interesting um cool cool uh so now she'll be able to well, guess what was happening before is when if you threw her her thing um watson's pylon would would, would cancel it out her ultimate black market boutique will only pick up one stack of ammo rather than one stack plus the amount that was required to fill whatever particular stack you had in the inventory Ultimate experience does not give you 20% all charge up from 17.5%. So that's kind of neat. So Loba looks like she, her, she's going to be able to use that XLM a little bit better. Um, pretty interesting changes. I like the ability that she can now go into a Watson place, um, which I think was a lot of people were trying to do, but they just weren't able to do really because it got interested by the pylon. So uh, as you'll see down ahead, they're giving a lot more ways for you to intercept and really break into Watson's you know made up fortress which is something that a lot of watson mains and then on top level players do a lot right that's what that's the goal with watson you want to do mirage uh tactical you can now hold the tactical button and release to auto control decoys decoys will now say lines when shot cool so that is just a little little quality of life i think i think the whole holding and letting go i think it's kind of nice because I find it kind of cumbersome trying to hit the button to start controlling. So the idea of like, you know, holding it while the, per the decoy is running and then let go, I automatically control. That's cool. Passive. When Cloak Mirage Hollows emitters will be visible to players that are less than five meters away. Okay, so um, th I think this is a counter to making sure he's a little bit visible to you know people who are trying to kill him but during the res which i think you know is a super strong ability i think this is still really good because then it gives the people who are close by a chance to kill him but anyone coming you know from far away won't be able to see the res in time uh and then skydive you'll be able to create decoys for the entire squad when skydiving if you're still squatted up i think this is cool i've been thinking mirage should be able to do this for a while now um so be able to actually look like a squad instead of easily oh that's a mirage decoy i think that's kind of cool uh gibraltar uh fast field granted inside the dome has been slowed down so that just kind of a slight note to that caustic oh this one hurts a little bit but i understand enemies can cancel caustic bra by shooting it before it's fully inflated so this is kind of the stop um at least my my interpretation is they want you to be more strategic with the gas characters 
and you know like i i in, in fights you know span the canisters around me and still kind of fight to kind of get those 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 canisters out so they kind of they're trying to curb that behavior with gossip which kind of makes sense but oh it still hurts now watson the big uh one of the big ones in terms of the people i play with the, you know, the intent of these changes is to create openings, exactly what I was saying earlier, where the enemies can breach into Watson's positions. So, uh, you know, that way, Loba can um, come through with her with her teleport. Uh, it's still possible to hold positions, so they're saying you can still definitely hold something indefinitely, but this should, um, you know, be worth something, right? You can't just put a pylon and just stay there forever, right? So they're saying that the cost of holding a place for long term is you need to really stockpile ultimate accelerants. So her pylons are now last for 90 seconds. Um, Watson's can now have to three pylons out at a time. So back to her, her release type thing. So I think that's also kind of cool. Uh, and Watson can stack up to two ultimate accelerants per mature slot, which is makes sense because if they want her to uh, be an indefinite player in terms of holding a position, she's going to need a lot of those. So I, I love that that change. Overall, I think this is a good way to kind of nerf her without really removing her kit. Um, we're going to have to see how it plays out, but I, I love the idea behind it that they want to be able to create openings for her. Um, but also you know still allow her to be the tank that she is in terms of securing a building or securing an area long term and then wraith this is uh, her, her her change right here increasing Wraith's tactical cooldown has proven to be ineffective at curbing her exceedingly high win rate so uh, the goal here they're just trying to make her to i guess bring that number down to fall in line with the other legends um uh, these changes are meant to disincentivize Wraith players from using Phase Walk as a get out of jail free card and move into a more re of a repositioning and scouting ability. Okay, so instead of like, oh crap, I messed up, let me phase and move away, they really want her to be like, all right, I want to phase into a position or phase out into the positioning type of thing. Um, so I guess that's what they're going for. Phase walk now takes 1.25 seconds to enable versus the 0.4 seconds. During this time, Wraith will receive a 20% move so during that literally like a second and a quarter of a second uh she will move slower to try to activate her thing um and then during her phase walk she goes back to uh normal normal thing while in phase walk wraith now gets a 30 percent more speed boost which is cool while in phase walk wraith can now see other players while in the void so now there's you don't get this chance where pretty much she uh, you like phase in and then you come out and then like you're in front in front of the whole team because you had no idea they were there in the first place so i think that's kind of cool um and they decrease the distance to her tunnel um but i think overall they just want her to be like again straight that uh positioning type that they've been using because they the, what, what was the thing that they said um they want the long distance repositioning to be left for pathfinder uh, Wraith is meant to be a little bit more mid to low low range distance. Um, overall, this is these are these are kind of crazy changes. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe um, for and you know hit the notification bell because I'll be covering most of these changes in depth. At least making definitely videos about Lifeline, Octane, Revenant. Um, those were like the really big changes that I saw. Maybe Watson as well. Um, but we'll see. Make sure to sit to nice stream on Twitch Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Um, make sure to follow me on Twitter there to make sure when I'm live. But it'll be cool to chat about these um, changes uh, in stream. So come check that out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. These are really wild. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm excited. This whole this whole patch drops tomorrow, uh, June 23rd. Uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I hope to catch you guys there. My name is Flame078, and this has been Perspective Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.